Hello and welcome to me playing some more Final Fantasy X. Uh, when last we left off, we were in the Thunder Plains. Huh. Okay. So, um, now that we're in the Thunder Plains, go back into here real quick. Because if... Uh, nope, not there. Up here. Uh, not there either. Up here. We can go back into the far plane. At any point in time, we can come back here. And we can run up. Go in here. And we can visit the far plane. And there's a chest right there. Venus Crest. Been a while, sis. It's been seven years, but you still look the same. Jeez, I'm older than you now. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Hey, I, I brought you something. Check this out. Uh, uh, there we are. See, she looks just like you. Her name's Yuna. Boy, was I surprised the first time I saw her. Of course, she's not as good as you. If you were still alive, I bet you'd fight just like her. It's okay. Yuna will beat Sin for you. I know it. So don't you worry. Okay, sis. See ya. No one there? She's not appearing. Who is it? None of your business. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not your fault. Why aren't you here? I need to be alone. I honestly do not remember who it who she's waiting for. But um anyway, so mostly we were there just for the Venus crest. Plot's kind of a incidental thing that happens there. Let's see here. We we'll go back to the Thunder Plains. The other thing, and I have to thank Big Baby J for this, although I did raise more questions. Um, apparently, uh, Seymour ended his pilgrimage. And I don't know if that means he ended it... Um, when he got to the final summon and wasn't willing to do the sacrifice or if he just quit because he didn't want to do the uh or if he quit somewhere before then but apparently he was a summoner at some point on a pilgrimage and he quit hmm. stone strike such a good thing Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. No problem. Okay, a special steal. We're trying to steal as many Electro Marbles as possible. Um, you can also steal Lunar Curtains from the other guy. From that guy. And those are kind of useful to have as well. But while we're in the Thunder Plains, couldn't steal anything. Uh, water. Nope. And. That's what I was looking for. That is the main reason why I have Waka out, is to stone everybody, because there are actually very few people who are immune to the stone uh, strike in this game. Uh, let's see here. Sphere Grid Lulu. 
move and we continue. Oh, there's nothing to use there. Alright, on to the Thunder Plains. Uh, special steel. Um, attack. Yeah. That's just such a high chance of doing that. Ow. Uh, I'll kill you off. Uh, I'll do Kamari. Ooh, two Electro Marbles. Okay, so... Um... So as recommended, I was playing um, Stellar Blade the other day, and um, George suggested that I should start editing my videos. And while I probably won't do that for the Final Fantasy games, I will probably, I might start doing that for various other games. Ooh. Well, hello there. Would you like to hear about this place? Sure. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Planes of lightning, planes of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. Using Machina, he built tires that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Milgen was building that tower over there. When he was struck and killed by lightning. <laughs> Bilgen was an owl bed. Our history books never mention him. Take care. Take care. I like how we get lots of information. He is such a useful person. I want to say he's in X2. Uh, Walka. Yeah, because I believe you um, can start off talking to him. Soft. No. Can we attack him? Um, I think he's weak to Blizzard. Oh, actually, I should actually soft. No. Doom. And dead. Perfect. I'm good, yeah. All right. So there's all sorts of stuff. The other kind of interesting thing about this planes is that you need to. I forget whose weapon it is, but you have to dodge. I think it's a hundred lightning strikes. Ah. It just annoys me. All right, item soft. Kamari. Uh, we attack, we attack him. Seriously.
Ooh. Ooh, that does not do a lot of damage. Yeah, but you have to dodge some odd amount of lightning strikes and then a chest um, at Rin's at Rin's place uh, appears and you can collect one of those items used for the final weapon. You know, I almost say that that guy is actually better than this one. I hate... It's one of those things I just really do not like status effects. They just annoy me so much. Huh. What does Shalinda have to say? No wedding. I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spiro. Oh. I'm going to guess that that actually affects something. Please give Lady Yuna my best regards. Oh, please, go ahead. Uh, I think I'm missing a few chests. Actually, this... These, the Thunder Plains is one of the reasons why um, I did take the advice and actually play on the computer. Just so that I can turn off um, encounters and dodge the lightning later. Because that will be a lot easier if I don't have to worry about encounters. Lunar curtains. There, stone. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> Um, I also did a little bit of farming off screen because Rico really needed more than like 600 health. <laughs> No, stone ball's better. Dang it. Abilities, you wanna heal. Yeah, being able to turn off encounters is actually really convenient. He's dead. I think if I steal enough of these Electro Marbles, I should be able to, um, I think put Lightning Proof on somebody's equipment, I think. Uh, let's see. Lightning Ward. 
Yeah. Maybe not. Auto med. Oh man. Oh, I should buy remedies just for that. Wow, MP plus 20%. That's not bad. Oh, and it's only one ether for MP 5%. Huh. Auto shell. Oh, lunar curtains. I can do auto shells. Uh, I'm gonna guess that... What's the other one? Because um, there's uh, lunar curtains which cast shell on you. And then there's the other ones that cast uh, protect on you. And I'm gonna guess that using those does auto protect. And dead. Alright. I'm going to pause it for you guys. Um, Rin's place is just up ahead. I will meet you back here with either at another chest or at Rin's place. I don't want you to sit through all the fights. And I do want all the fights so that I can level up. So I'll be right back. Alright, and I am back. Uh, not quite at Rin's place, but there seems to be a cutscene, so here we go. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm, what's wrong? Give me the creeps. Come on. Be nice to her. Hey, whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? I mean, it's Rin's place. Pretty please, just a few minutes. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. <laughs> wow, this. They are apps. Your mom will be ashamed of you. They really are heartless. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine. We rest. She's worse than the storm. All right. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Lady Summoner, yes, just over that way. Thank you. Uh, Yuna? It's not like her. All right, we save it. Oh, wait. Ooh, History of Summoners. Long ago, the fiends known as the Cactuars roamed the Jose continent freely. They were in rampant, ravaging fields and tormenting travelers. Uh, then Lord Gandalf appeared, a man later that, to become High Summoner. He scoured the continent for the Cactuars and drove them to these plains. Once he'd gathered the Cactuars together, Lord Gandalf linked the sign of X. Whereupon the cactuars turned to smoke and were absorbed by cactus. Cactuars were thus sealed into stone, fated to face lightning day and night, until someone again links the X sign and releases the seal. They shall suffer 
uh, within the stone for their deeds. Thus did Lord Gandalf bring relief to the peoples all over Spira. He believed uh, that the battle with Sin was only one part of the summoner's greater mission. Hmm, how interesting. How old was Brosco when he did this? Are you that scared? When I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead. Huh. It was a thunder spell. <sighs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm. Maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. <laughs> um, that's kind of like, um, oh no, what, what's her name? Um, Rydia, Rydia from Final Fantasy IV. She hated fire and as a black mage for the longest time, she couldn't use the fire spell because her village burned. Oh, partially your character's fault, but actually almost completely your character's fault. But yeah, she can't use fire for the longest time how goes your study of our language that is good to hear allow me to present you with this book for your study all right so you need to tell Thunder. would that be sir orin by any chance ah as i thought I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. <laughs> you just shoved me Sir aside. Orin, I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Oran is no ordinary the man. Or and his entourage passed by a while ago. And the maester is to be married soon. Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling everyone. <laughs> That's a foregone conclusion in the Guado's eyes. Yuna? Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jiskel? All right, we'll save it again since we've talked to everybody. Uh, let's talk. This is going to be some journey. All right. Ooh, oh, buy weapons. What do we have? Strength, magic, nothing terribly. Um, hold on. There it is, yellow targe. Uh, yeah, we're gonna actually buy that for her. Um, just because that's just slightly better.
it's nothing really. I I just uh, uh, I completely do not remember this cutscene. I I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Wasn't that that uh, just called Guado guy? The sphere is his will. It says, "Take care of my son." Huh. Does it? <laughs> his son, Seymour. Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah, kill him. I don't really like Seymour. Uh, what do you think you're up to? Yuna, Yuna was acting funny. Yeah, so, yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos to that. I like the interactions between everybody in the party. If it's okay with Riku, shall we go? She's not going to move unless we do something. I'll get to it. I won't talk We're to everybody. Not through the Thunder Plains yet, so be prepared, all right? There's a copy of All About the Lightning. Ooh. Titus's record: 19 lightning bolts uh, have struck towards four consecutive bolts. Whatever happens, we're still Yuna's guardians. Oh. Then let's just go on with the journey, huh? It's not stopping, is it? It won't stop. Don't tell me you were hoping it would. Ah! Fine, stay here. All right already. But you didn't have to say it like that, you know. I mean, that's Oran's way. More comforting or something. You know, try to cheer me up. You just don't get me at all, do you? I mean, he's already gone. I'm not scared. I'm not scared, you hear? Hmm. That was weird. Yellow shield. Did I just buy that for her? Riku. Oh no, she wears Tarja's. You wear shield. Oh. Yes, that's actually even better. HP is ten percent. We'll give that to her. Yeah, that's lightning ward. So that means actually Titus is now immune to lightning. That's pretty good. And actually, with that, we're gonna call that an episode. Thank you all for joining me on this adventure. Uh, do take care out there. It is getting uh, towards summer. I know it's still only eight. Then wait, this will come out in May, won't it? I mean, May. That's the fifth month. That is getting close to summer. And summer means sun and heat, so stay hydrated out there, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye now.